Hey, welcome, I'm Dragon. Today's tutorial is all about the new Blender 3.0 text geometry nodes. Basically, I'll kind of explain what these seven nodes do while making this simple text animation. By the way, here is a screenshot of the final node setup if you just want to copy it instead of watching how to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to start by opening a new scene and adding a cube and then clicking new in the geometry node setup. And you get the geometry node area by clicking either geometry nodes in the top or splitting the screen and choosing geometry nodes. From here, we will add string to curves, which is basically the main controller node with text. It allows you to adjust what the text is, font, size, spacing, and it will actually allow you to have a maximum length for your words, meaning if it goes beyond the maximum, it will go to a new line. Even though you can choose what text you want shown from this node, we want more control so we can use a string node and plug it into string. Then you could type anything into this. I personally entered Dragon 3D, but you can see that the 3D part doesn't go to a new line, which I want. And I want to not have a maximum length using the main text node, so we can add a replace string node and a special characters node, which line breaks going into replace on the replace node will pretty much do this effect if we type into the replace node we can really type anything into it, but I'm going to do slash n, just because that's kind of like a new line thing. Then I put slash n into my string before 3D, and it will go to a new line. This is because the replace node will find whatever you enter into it, and the special characters will make what's found go to a new line. Kinda cool, I think. Now let's add a slice string node, and plug it in between the string and replace string. This node I really only see good for animation because position will only show characters above that position. For example, if you have a position of 2 and you have 5 characters, it will not show the first 2 characters, and only the last 3. But length, on the other hand, will show a maximum amount of characters of whatever the length is. It's kind of like the length in the build modifier if you've ever used that modifier. Now right after this node, let's plug in join strings, which will do exactly as it sounds. It joins strings. So we are going to put the value to the string. Immediately you can see the value is shown in front of 3D, which isn't what we really want. We want it to go behind and not be in front. And all you need to do is make sure it's connected after the other nodes or other node. We can then change the value in the decimals to show that number. Later we will animate it to show what frame the animation is on. You can also read slash frame to get a new line and then frame to actually read frame then whatever the value is. Then there's string length node. I couldn't really find a use case in this animation, but basically it turns characters that you type into it into a value for example, if I put length into on slice string node and type high, it will only show two characters. Well, that's all of the text nodes, and now we can combine it with other nodes. This part will go by faster since I'm not really going to be explaining these nodes in detail, mainly just plugging them in. So, so the first thing that we would do that's an add-on to this is fill curve. This will literally do exactly as it says and fill, uh, fill the curve. Then we want these to be compatible with modifiers, so we can plug in realize instances to make the modifiers work. Then we can add a solidify modifier and change the thickness, followed by more geometry nodes, and then subdivide and subdivision and shade smooth node. Then to the original set of nodes, we can add resample to create a balloony look. Then scale instances to make an animation of the bouncy silly effect, which we will do later. Then a select material node and select the material you want shown. Otherwise, it will just be white and have no texture. Now on to the final stretch. We need an empty and drag its properties into a node. Then a position node and two XYZ nodes, along with a math node that the XYZ nodes are plugged into. Then add another scale instances node and plug the math node into the scale. If we move the empty, we now get a strange effect, so add a map range node, and we get this cool transition effect when we animate it. By the way, I learned this from someone else called Blender Gillades or something like that, and a link to his channel will be in the description if you want to learn even more about nodes. 
With those nodes, we are done with them other than animating them. First, animate the transition effect, then the slice string node, then value string. You can start at frames at zero frames and leave the value at zero. Then, 60 frames over, you can change the value to 60, creating an effect that shows what frame you're on when we actually render it out. Oh, and don't forget that you need to change the handle type to vector, otherwise it won't be exactly accurate. Then, the final thing we need to do is animate its going up and down under scale instances node. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you now understand text nodes better and maybe have this animation. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Bye!